Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Saint. In this video, we are going to learn repository and package management on Linux. So firstly, what is package management? Package management is a way of installing and maintaining software on the system. And in early, early days, one had to compile source code to install software and nothing wrong with compiling sources. But these days we can install packages from their Linux distributor. So that's the package management. Then the next is packaging system. So what is packaging system? Different distribution of Linux use different packaging system and packages intended for one distribution is not compatible with another distribution. So broadly distribution fall into one of the two camps of packaging. So the one is Ubuntu and the second is Amazon Linux 2. Then repositories. So those package are made available to the user of distribution in central repository. Such repositories include many thousands of packages, each specially built and maintained for the distribution. So that's the repository, packaging system and package management. Then now let's start to configure configuring software repository on an ubuntu system so here i'm using ubuntu 20.04 lts so let's check our operating system and release and so on so here if i run this command so this command will show the information of my operating system that means ubuntu so you can see the pretty name is ubuntu 20.04 lts then name ubuntu then id version 20.04 lts version 20.04 lts version code name jammy id ubuntu id like debian then home url support url bug report url privacy policy url then ubuntu code name jammy then the second lsb underscore release hyphen cs this command will show the ubuntu code name so ubuntu code name is jammy here you can see the ubuntu code name mentioned here also it's no version code name because we are using 20.04 LTS. So the 20.04 LTS, the version code name is Jammy. So that's the information of our Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Now, if I go to the slash etc slash apt and run the ls command, you can see there is number of for, for number of directories. And here I want to read this source dot list file so run the command cat and source dot list so here you can see the source dot list file so you can see the there is number of url start from dip you can see here so now clear the screen now now the next is here how to configure repositories in source dot list file so using below commands you can configure repository so firstly Let's run this so uh, grip hyphen I main. So here, sorry, firstly, here we are going to run this grip hyphen I main command. So you can see the information about this command. You can see a jammy main restricted and the URL of and start from deb. Then the second is grip hyphen i universe. Then the third is grip hyphen i restricted. And the fourth command is grip hyphen i multi. multiverse you can see here so you can see here the configure repositories in source.list file you can see for the main universe restricted and multiverse so that's the configure repositories of source.list files now you can see here each line starting with dev or dev hyphen src adds a package repository on your linux system so start from dev this does the this repository contains binary or pre-compiled package and this repository are required for most user 
then the starting from dev hyphen src this repository contains the source code of the packages useful for developers so that's the meaning of dev and dev hyphen src now high and low level package tool so what's the high and low level package tool so package management system usually consists of two types of tools so the first is low level tools that handle tasks such as installing and removing package file then second high level tool so that's the perform metadata searching and dependency res resolution so let's start to common package management tasks so the firstly finding a package in a repository so here you can see the command for ubuntu to finding a package management of the repository but as of now i don't have any package in my ubuntu 20.04 lts so that's why here i'm not going to search any package repository but firstly here i'm going to update my system package using this apt get update command because here i'm going to use uh, here i'm using ubuntu 20.04 lts so let's update our system package Now it's done, now clear the screen. Now the second is installing a package from a repository. So let's install package. So firstly, we need to update our system package. So you can see here, we have update our system package. Now we are going to install package. So the command is apt get install and name of our package. So let's install any package. So run the command apt get install and name of your package. So here I'm going to install Apache 2. So run the command. So our command look like this apt hyphen get install Apache 2. So I can say yes, I want to install Apache 2 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So it's done, now clear the screen. Now let's check the version, Apache 2 hyphen version. So you can see we have successfully installed Apache 2 on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So it's done. Then the next, next is installing a package from a package file. So if a package file has been downloaded from a source, other than a repository, it can be installed directly using low level tool. That means this dpkg hyphen and a name of our package. As of now, I don't have any package. So that's why here uh, this command will show there is no package or no such a directory, but I will show you. You can see error cannot access uh, Apache because we don't have any package to install Apache 2. So then Next is updating package from a repository. So you can see for Ubuntu, we are, we are going to use this apt-get update command, otherwise apt-get upgrade command to update our repositories or system package. Then upgrading a package from a package file. So here, dpkg and name of our package. So our package name is Apache2. So you can say cannot achieve Apache 2 or such a directory because we don't have any packages. You can see here dpkg does not have a specific option for upgrading a package various uh, installing one as RPM does. So here I'm using Ubuntu. That's why here I'm going to uh, run this command. Now listing install package, you can see here. So if you want to listing the installed package, so run the command dpkg hyphen L. So you can see the list. You can see the list of Apache 2. You can see uh, listing installed. Uh, in, you can see the listing of installed packages. You can see here. You can see Apache 2 that we have installed. Now clear the screen. Then the next is determining whether a package is installed. So if you want to check, then run the command dpkg hyphen yes. And name of your package name. So our package name is Apache 2. So you can see here, it's successfully installed because you can see the information. 
that installing this package result full installation and so on you can see here that means you have successfully installed apache 2 on ubuntu 20.04 lts so now clear the screen then displaying information about an install package so if you want to check the details of your install package then you can run the command apt cache show and name of your package and our package name is apache2 so you can see the details of our package here you can see start from here package name apache2 architecture then version priority section or origin and so on and also you can see your package priority and so on so the details of our package that means apache2 then finding which package install a file so if you want to check then you can run the command dpkg hyphen capital s and name of your package apache2 so you can see here so this command will show to determine what package is responsible for the installation of a particular file so you can see the details of our package apache2 and their directories and so on so that's the repositories so in this video we have learned repositories and package management on linux so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our day of sin channel